Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. In today's video, we're covering a guide on how to set up a Windows 11 virtual machine inside of Microsoft Hyper-V. Before we get started with this, if you're interested in purchasing Microsoft Office, Windows 10, Windows 11, remote desktop licenses, or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, be sure to check out Indigo Software. We'll put links down below. So without further ado, let's jump in. All right, guys, so I am here inside of my Windows 11 host operating system, and I just pulled up my Hyper-V Manager. Again, you can just hit the Start key and type in Hyper, and it'll come up. So Hyper-V Manager is where we're going to go ahead and get started. Now, if you don't already have the ISO file downloaded, I'm going to go to a new window inside of my browser here, and we're just going to navigate to aka.ms slash download Windows 11. From here, we can directly download the official Windows 10 disk image or ISO file. We're gonna need this to install our operating system too. So we'll select the multi-edition here and we'll select download now. For the product language, this only matters if you're doing an in-place upgrade. And if that's the case, the language has to match your previous version. But in most cases, if you're watching this video, you'll do English United States and we'll hit confirm. Okay, and then we'll just hit the 64-bit download button. Okay, so next up, we're going back into our Hyper-V manager and here we're gonna click new. Let's click virtual machine. And this is gonna start a new virtual machine wizard. So all of our basic configuration is gonna happen now. And then we can always come back and adjust if we need to. Let me hit next. And at this point, let's go ahead and title our new virtual machine. I'm gonna call this Indigo Windows 11. We could also store this in a different location at this point if we want to, but I'm gonna go ahead and hit next. For the generation here, we're gonna use the UEFI base generation two. And let's hit next. Startup memory, I will leave as four gigabytes, and I will actually leave the dynamic memory checked. This is going to use more of our memory or allocate more of our memory when needed, but not upfront. So we essentially don't have to pre-allocate too much memory. Let's hit next again. For configuring and networking for now, we can just do the default switch and let's move on. All right, so here we can make adjustments to our virtual hard disk. We can create a virtual hard disk. We could use an existing one or we could do this step later. I'm gonna to opt to create a virtual hard disk here. I'm gonna change my size to 70 gigabytes. Although in most cases, the default size should be fine assuming you have the storage. All right, let's hit next. And for this option, we're going to install an operating system from a bootable CD slash DVD. And here we can check over to image file. Okay, and with this selected, let's hit browse. And here is my ISO file. I've put it inside of a folder on my desktop. And so it should look something like this. This is the 24H2 version. All right, so let's double click that and let's hit next. All right, at this point, we can actually just hit finish. Okay, our new virtual machine is right here. Let's double click that to go ahead and start it up. And here I'll click start. Now, as soon as my virtual machine booted up, I kind of had to spam the keys because it wants you to press any key to boot from CD. At this point, let's go ahead and navigate through the Windows 11 setup. Now, this is gonna be just like if you installed Windows 11 on your host computer. We have a few basic setup options and we want to install Windows 11. We have to check this box here and let's hit next. And here we're prompted for a product key. If you have a product key, you can paste it in now. We can always paste it in later as well. And for this, I'll select Windows 11 Pro. Okay, so we had an error pop up that we did not meet the system requirements. Let's go ahead and address that. I'm gonna right click on this and let's hit turn off. And then we're gonna navigate next to settings. We're gonna navigate to security and let's go ahead and enable TPM and we're also going to enable secure boot. Let's hit apply and hit okay. All right, let's go back into our VM, start. And again, I'll sort of spam the keys right here. Okay, let's go through the setup menu again and see if we can get inside of the Windows 11. All right, we'll accept the license agreement and we'll select our disk zero here. All right, and it's ready to install Windows. So again, those steps that we did to enable the virtual TPM, is important as otherwise Windows 11 will not want to install to your virtual machine on Hyper-V. Let's click install. And Windows 11 is now installing to our virtual machine. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. If you have any questions about anything we went over, drop those in the comments below and we'll get back with you as soon as we can. Again, if you're interested in purchasing Windows 10, Windows 11, remote desktop licenses, or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, be sure to check out Indigo Software. We'll leave links down below. 
As our channel continues to grow, we're constantly looking for new video topic ideas. If you have any videos that you'd like to see us make, we strongly encourage you to let us know in the comments as well. Most of these requests get made into actual videos. Lastly, a like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated as it helps to support the channel. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.